Hey, 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 YouTubers! Welcome back to Galactic Gaming. This is Hatfield15 reporting for duty, and this is a different video than what I'm normally used to making, but I feel like it's necessary. So if you guys are fans of SMG4 like I am, then you would know that the anime arc, which has been going on since March of this year, has finally ended today, and I feel like I needed to make this video just to kind of talk about it and just explain things I really enjoyed throughout the entire arc. So if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, like who SMG4 is and what you're about to see on the screen, there will be links in the description below which will lead you to his channel and the anime arc so you can caught up on what happened. But anyways, the short of it is basically anime ends up getting banned in the Mushroom Kingdom and that eventually spirals out of control into an all-out war against anime. Again, links in the description for you guys to go check it out for yourselves. But yeah, in the past we've all seen SMG4 create brand new characters and put them into like the, the gang, like the main gang is what I'm trying to say. The most recent example is Tari, who is soon going to have her own series, Meta Runner, which debuts in July of this year. Well, a brand new character got introduced in this anime arc, and that is Axel, the famous manga artist. Now, I really gotta say, I enjoy Axel's design a lot, because it's based off of a real-life animal, the Axolotl, and... Overall, I just gotta say, it just looks very original, and plus the whole Ink Weaver thing. The most notable thing about Axel is his pen, the Ink Weaver, which has the power to make any character he draws come to life, but only for a short period of time because the quality and the lifespan of each character he draws depends on the quality of the ink. And up until part 7 of the arc, he's only been using 5% of the Ink Weaver's power, but when he acquires some of Maggie's ink, he's able to power it up to 50%. And after Francis steals the Ink Weaver from himself and kidnaps Ulpa, Bunch of Inklings as well as Maggie, he boosts it up to 70 and eventually 100%. But aside from the Ink Weaver, I really gotta say, Axel's character and design are very desirable. Well done, SMG4. Another thing too, I'm really happy with the return of Chris and Swagmaster, a couple of really old characters from SMG4's channel, which we haven't seen a lot of over the past year or so. They did appear in SMG4's video, Mario's Prison Escape, but they made a very prominent appearance throughout the whole anime arc, as they were originally with the ASS, or Anime Secret Service, in enforcing Peach's strict anime ban, but eventually they decide to help the others rescue Maggie after they find out that Francis napped her. But yeah, it's really good to see the return of Chris and Swagmaster, but I really hope they continue to make more prominent appearances in future story arcs and videos. But speaking of character, that brings me to my most important argument of this video. Maggie. Now, if you guys don't know who Maggie is, basically, she's a very tomboyish, brave, and just ultimately badass person, and she originally debuted in SMG4's video, If Mario Was In Splatoon, it was either 2015 or 2016 when it came out, I can't remember, but nevertheless, her character went through some major changes throughout the anime arc, and most notably, in episode 5 of the arc, the Maggie's boot camp, she actually starts to become a bit aggressive towards her friends because of how committed she is to winning the Splatfest, in which she has failed to do so ever since she met Mario. I mean, she's never won a Splatfest to begin with, but yeah, after she realizes what she's doing, she walks off, and eventually Mario soon finds her on the same rooftop that Maggie and her and him sat upon the day they met. So Maggie expresses her regret towards her actions, and she feels like she's losing sight of who she is, which actually leads her to breaking down into tears because of this. Now, this scene was really emotional, and it really hit SMG4 fans like myself really hard in the chest, because we just weren't expecting it. But, aside from that, I gotta say, it was really important for Maggie's character, because, you know, static and round characters really aren't that desirable, because Mario and Boopkins really don't change that much, for an example. But, yeah, we, like, if this was really important for Maggie's character, just kind of grow and evolve past the whole tomboyish, one-sided character, so... Yeah, again, as emotional as it was, character development. It's a really, really good thing. Another major change she went through happens in the finale of the anime arc, which debuted today. Now, there are spoilers ahead, so I'm going to advise you guys, if you haven't seen the anime arc, to go check out the description below to watch the anime arc, or at least the finale, so you can see it before I spoil it for you. Now, if you guys, as I just said earlier, Francis kidnaps half the Inkopolis population along with Maggie to harvest their ink so he can create an anime island, as well as boost the Ink Weaver up to 100%. Now, of course, Maggie goes through the most because she's selected as a candidate for an experiment with one of his machines, the Ink Sucker 2000, and yeah, this has some dramatic effects on her, and by the end of the finale, she's no longer an Inkling, but rather, she is now human. 
this really blew my mind, and personally I kind of prefer her inkling form a lot more, but you know this new human design actually looks really really good. I don't know, nobody knows in fact if this is permanent or if there will be a story arc or video in the future which will revert her to being an inkling, but aside from that I noticed that her character is very anime style, so this might be a hint that she might possibly make a cameo in the upcoming Meta, Meta Runner series, so I guess we'll find out when Meta Runner debuts. I'll make a react video to the first episode of Meta Runner, but yeah, stay tuned for that. Again, I definitely prefer the old Maggie more, but this this new Maggie actually looks pretty good. That brings me to my last topic of discussion, her rival, Desti. Now, we don't see Desti outside much of, of the anime arc at all, aside from her debut in If Mario Was In Splatoon 2, so of course she comes across as this edgy Octoling who, of course, is Maggie's sworn rival, and she clearly demonstrates this in the anime arc when she steals Maggie's weapons along with her gang, the Octoposse, and... Yeah, eventually she actually goes through a pretty big change herself. She originally goes from, like, hating Maggie and wanting nothing to do with her to actually trying to ending up saving her life multiple times. When Maggie is saved the first time by Dusty, she asks her why she's doing it because, you know, Dusty hated Maggie, but she explains her to her rival that she wants her humiliated, not dead, and that saving her life is the most humiliating thing she can do for her. So, yeah, it's really good to see this different side of Desi, and another major scene where we see this good side of her is uh, episode 11 of 12 of the anime arc, World War Mario, where she tells Axel that the reason Maggie is her rival is because no matter how many times she knocks her down, Maggie always gets back up. So, yeah, it's really good to see Maggie, our Desi, I meant, so in a different light. Uh, unfortunately, this doesn't last long as she is killed in the end of episode 11 by Sephiroth, who is drawn by... Ah, crap, I forgot the name. Francis. Sorry, Francis by Inkweaver. Now, this was actually a very pivotal scene for SMG4's channel, because this is the very first time that character has actually ever been killed on the channel. Not in the sense that they've gotten messed up really badly in which they were fine afterwards, but actually killed off. Now, this scene is actually a lot sadder now that I think that, because this scene didn't really show up at all outside the anime arc, as I said earlier. Her last request to Maggie before dying is, you better win Splatfest for me, okay? Before she dies. Now, of course, again, Maggie is actually pretty sad about this during her funeral at the end of the finale because, you know, she died for her. And this, again, it just becomes clear at this point that perhaps Desi wasn't as bad as everyone thought she was and that she actually was a good character. Like I said before, character development. Okay, that's pretty much all I want to talk about here, and I hope I didn't mess up too badly, but like I said, all respective links are in the description below, and all pictures you've seen in this video belong to their respective monitors on DeviantArt, YouTube, etc. So for now, that's about all the time we got today, so thank you all for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe, leave comments down below, because I like them, and crank that like button to the next like, Soldier Boy. Till then, Hatfield 15. Space out, bros and bros, see